Hello there. In this video, we're going to use Rubicon and Control Net to swap not whole face but specific element. And it's work um, uh, very good for the retouching as a photographer. For example, if you take image of the model who have eyes closed, we can open and replace it or add some different elements. So let's go ahead and start working on this. First, what we want to do is be sure all our extensions that we're going to use it is installed. We're going inside the extension tab and one what I'm looking for, it is is SD Web UI root and another ones it is control net SD Web UI control net. If you don't have those ones install it, I will provide links down below for you to see how you can install stable diffusion, control net and a root on your local machine. After installation completed, let's go ahead take our main image what we're going to work with and put it inside the image to image tab inside the image to image. Right here you can see we have this photo and then as for a model, have it her eyes closed. What I want to do is have those eyes open. Usually I need to go inside the Photoshop, mask this area with a pen, remove it and replace with some other eyes and hopefully they will match with a stable diffusion and AI um, algorithm that utilize the group. It's make much, much easier work for us. So for this, we'll go with in painting options. Let's go click on in painting and we'll same. We'll just put the same image here. Next, what I want to do is be sure our prompt is matching. We'll go and click interrogate. The interrogated clip will analyze the image and provide us with a prompt that is most closest matching to this image. Base it on the model and preprocessor what we're going to use. Our next step is apply additional options So first and go down to our width and height and be sure our width and height matching our original image. And it's 512 by 760. Next, we want to go down and be sure our denoise string may be set to a little bit of 0 0.5. We don't want to have it too much distinguished. So this time, if I want to process, we can go ahead, select our brush and going over the eyes. Okay. I think this way should work fine. And let's click generate. And we can look, it's already processed nicely, but notice right here, eyes does not look right. They look very wrong. They open, but they're kind of red and we not necessarily want this effect. We could specify like blue eyes and everything, but it's take a much more experiment. So in this case, it's where we have it, our proper come for the roof so we can utilize a specific eyes to replace it. So let's go over down below right here where we have it a group. We expanded this section and we'll drag and drop another image. Mostly close up will work better with this specifically eyes is open so we can preview. Let's go ahead, click and enable group expansion extensions as well. We'll check down and we we'll leave it all these parameters by default. Let's render okay, its process image. And now you'll notice it will start processing on the face to replace this element. Let's look closer and it's not bad. And I notice sometimes it's way better than it was before, but it's not necessarily can work properly as we want it. So in this case, we want to start utilizing control net, which help us to analyze the image. I'm going to expand control net and we'll click enable. We don't need to upload in the image. We'll just utilize one that we have it on inside in painting. We want to use it open pose. So in this case, let's go and analyze not just the pose of the model, but also analyze the position of the eyes. I still thinking our denoise string at this time a little bit higher, but we will try this um, readjust in a second to make sure everything is fit properly. When we're done, let's go ahead and click generate. Here's our image. Let's preview. Notice it's much better. And the reason is why, because it's take the position of the eyes, poses everything and utilize this on our image. So it's looking much better. Let's analyze. And in some cases, if your eyes will have it like shadows because it take from other images, then we'll need it retweak a little bit more on this image. One, what we want to do is take this blur mask and increase maybe from five to about six or eight. This is will make this blending edges a little bit smoother and better adjust together. Next, let's take our sample steps and increase to about 35. We don't need to go total all the way crazy, but it does help. As well, we can take 
and reduce to about 25. I found in some cases 15 or 10 will preserve original image even better. So we can go around here. But again, because we're using in painting, we don't need to really worry too much about all the image. Because of that, we'll just go about 0 0.3. It will help with the edge. Okay, let's go ahead and generate. Here is so we have it, our image. We open and I look on this. It's a beautiful. We preserve everything very good. And most important, our eyes look way natural open. So we can get it all these different elements. The only one problem right now, the original image is have much higher resolution than new generated. But usually we can take we can take this image, impose over and after blend inside the Photoshop. So we preserve all details without processing. Remember, if our original image is about 4000 by 6000 pixels to our new ones is only 512. Let's increase scale of our image. We can do this few ways. One, external applications like gigapixels, which is performed very good. And I think it's my favorite application for upscaling. I'll provide also a link down below for you for this. But if you don't have that application, you can still do this inside the stable diffusion, which provided very nice option for upscale. For this inside the our final output, we're going below and click on send all parameters and image in upscale. Here, when we're going to upscale, you can specify how much you want to resize. For example, we can increase to about five. But again, as a best ratio, find what you need size based on a 512 pixels. And if, for example, if we needed to um, increase 4000, then we maybe want to have it about six. Upscaler, we'll go select. And I'm just going to select maybe our scan. I think this will work a little bit better. We'll leave it everything as default. And we'll go ahead and click generate. Okay, right here we have our image generated. Let's be sure all of our images saved. So we can go now inside the Photoshop and see how we can blend this with a higher and pristine resolution of original image. To upscale the same image inside the gigapixels, you just need bring, drop and drag. I can preview right. So this is before upscale and after. Notice an amount of teeny tiny details is produced. This is actually the main reason why I like gigapixels. It is for the details is produced. So let's go ahead and upscale and gigapixels. And now we're inside the Photoshop so we can compare to some. This is our original image that is generated with uh, just a stable diffusion. Let's go look closer and you can see here's our details and we lost quite a bit to understand how much of details we lost. This is our original image and I'm just going to zoom in and you can see on the original how much we have a textures on all element. And again, if we look on this, notice it is much texture and almost everything is lost. So this is going after upscale inside the stable diffusion and we can bring just a little bit closer and you can see upscale does do something but not as good. And right here we have it our gigapixel. Notice like on this hair elements and additional small details. Let's go compare to this. We can definitely see just improvements on sharpness on those teeny tiny details between them. Okay. So next, what I want to do is take this image that we have one, doesn't matter which one we use it, drag and drop inside our other image that we have. Let's go ahead and rescale this little bit to match. And I think actually my original image, it's already scaled down, but it's okay. It will work for the what I want to show you. So we have right there and we are scaling to match our dimensions. Let's zoom in here and preview. Okay, this is ours. It's what we process. And this is original. Notice, of course, the different resolutions and all this fact. So what I want to do actually in Photoshop is just uh, create a mask, Control Z. Actually, you know what? Let's go take and create a black mask. There you go. So we hide that stuff here. And the next we want to select the mask, select our brush tool, 10% opacity, and we can start paint inside. In this case, you can see we can much easy just introduce only those areas that we want it without affecting. Of course, we have a second eye right there. We want kind of paint. There you go. So in this case, you can see we preserve all of the textures, everything we preserve from original. 
and we still have it our eye displaying okay, before and after. The nice things about why we want to do this way, it is positioning an angle because when we're done with stable diffusion and we went with the image to image and most important using control net, control air net did analyze pause, analyze the position of the eyes and everything and utilizing by using group took those eyes that we want to do and apply them to the place where it need to go. You always can have it additional fun with any images if you want it. For example, let's go ahead right here and I'm just going to type on a face like right there. And instead this image, we're going to use it my face, the beautiful face. Okay. So when we're done, we'll leave it everything by default. Let's go ahead and click generate. And as we generated that fun, let's look right here. See what we have it. We add stubbles to this face. So you can have it much fun than just this. And overall point of this video, I want to show you that Roop is not just need to replace all, all face by itself. You can replace just separate details and elements on the face to fix it. Some of the photos, I think it's a, one of the greatest tools for the photographers to readjust elements without worry too much on the angles, position and other elements. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.